Let's talk about selecting your menstrual cup. There are quite a few menstrual cups on the market, but I don't want you to feel overwhelmed with all the choices. So there are some basic things you wanna figure out before buying your cup. The most important being that you wanna figure out the size of your cervix. The height of your cervix, it changes throughout your cycle. So it's important that you measure your cervix while you are on your period, since that's when you will be using the cup. So what you'll do is you will wash your hands really well and you will insert your finger in your vagina. So you'll feel your cervix when you hit the end of your vagina and your finger cannot go any further. So if you can't get your finger past your first knuckle, then you have a low cervix. Second knuckle, you have a medium cer cervix. Third knuckle or further, you have a high cervix. So if you have a low cervix, you'll want to get the shortest cup on the market. Put a cup in it has a wonderful comparison chart. Maluna, Ruby, and FemCycle, this is a big ruby, this is a small ruby. Um, they all have very short menstrual cups. Um, options for you. So Ruby is sold here at the Basel Unforpack store where we are. The greenish blue Lena cup um, is here. Then you have the yellow Lunette here as well and they would both, they would all be fine if you have a low cervix. The rainbow uh, menstrual cups. So yeah, these are all, if you have a low cervix. The yellow lunette is particularly flexible too, so it's really easy to insert. Um, if you have a high cervix, then a cup like the Diva one would work really well, and it's mostly if you have a low cervix that you want to make sure that your cup is not too long. So if your cervix is medium to high, most of your options will be just fine, but if you have a high cervix and use a short cup, then you might have to do some exploring down there to find your cup if it rides up, but it's nothing to be afraid of. So your cup comes with a stem, which you can cut to whatever length uh, suits you to find your cup and pull it out. So I actually cut mine off entirely, as you'll see. So if you have a low cervix and you get a large cup, like a diva cup, the problem is that the stem, I've cut it off, but it can scratch your vulva and it can feel like it's falling out. So the first time that I finally managed to get my diva cup in, it was awful getting it in, but once it, would, once it was in, I was like, okay, great, I'm gonna go to work. So I rode my bike to work for one hour and the stem was scratching the entire time and there was no place to pull over to fix it. It was absolutely ter terrible. And I learned that this cup was not the right fit for me. It was a hard lesson. So now even if you have a high cervix, your cup might ride down and it might feel like it's falling out. So that was my problem for years. If you have weak pelvic floor muscles, it's more likely to ride down. So a few tips are to cut the stem off entirely like I did here. Um, so what changed everything for me also was to turn my Diva cup inside out hard to do, but it now doesn't feel like it's falling out and the end doesn't scratch my vaginal walls or cause irritation, which is great. Um, so since it's not designed to be invaginated, that means to be flipped inside out, pun intended. I can't recommend doing this though because it's not the way that it's intended to be used, but I use it flipped inside out and it works really well. There are also cups that are made for women who have had vaginal births or who have really heavy flow or a high cervix like this one for example, they can be kind of intimidating and even though I'm a mom now, I have not had the courage to try the bigger ones. I'm fine using the smaller ones, but this is what a larger one would look like, or this one even. So this is the large one from, the, from Glad Rags and for comparison's sake, this is the small one from Glad Rags. So the last thing to consider is the resistance of your cup. If you have a sensitive bladder, you might want one that's more flexible, um, that won't push up against your bladder uh, so strong, right? So a Maluna cup it, that's made from TPE instead of silicone is much more flexible, for example. Mm -hmm.